Okay, hello everybody. It's Friday. Um, had a great week with you guys. This is for my grade nines. I'm just going to review where I left you guys off last time. I was showcasing here um, the robotic delivery systems from um, uh, for the grocery delivery systems, as a matter of fact. So as you can see, this is where we left off last time, and I've asked you guys to explore uh, various methods or various ideas of coming up with how your robot would pick up the grocery boxes from your vehicles, van, truck, whatever that may be that we left off. And this is very, as you can say, industry related idea. It's pretty realistic um, looking and they're all, um, I think, prototypes, which is what we're doing. We're making our own prototypes. What I'd like to do based on what I told you guys this week in our uh, two o'clock synchronous meeting, is that I want to take another avenue and I want to review what I said uh, in our in our meeting okay so I'm gonna say bye-bye to these robots <laughs> because they're beautiful I mean there's nothing wrong with them right some of you may come in here and say Mr. Bell and yep yeah, I'm gonna take this idea the way the wheels and the arms are I'm gonna take this box over here and so forth right so this is a, a method that's being worked on as you can see Domino's FedEx are working together I've said this in the last video so the way I want to go and navigate this time I want to say bye to these guys and bring you another way of looking at it. Okay, all right. Now I, I said to you guys, it's your choice, okay? At the end of the day, the style you want to work with. That's what I'm trying to say. In, in these times of learning from home, distance learning, I don't know what acronym they're using these days, but you're working from home, guys. Who's to say and who am I to say to you that you cannot use robots looking like this? Okay, so really... I want to have fun with this. As I told you guys in, in this week that in my grade 10 animation class, we go through this um, and, and we make our own robots and then we hope to print them on the 3D printer. So that's kind of leading you to that as well. And and in my opinion, these these kind of ideas here, every one of these can pick up a box, right? Or a bag per se. So you can take it with the wheels, really serious prototypes that we saw last lesson, or you can go this way, okay? And I said to you guys before, nothing changes. Uh, I work with the, uh, with, the, with the framework of eight um, references to, to learn from and come up with four ideas, four down to two, two down to one, okay? So that's the kind of the framework. It doesn't matter what class I'm in, animation, tech design, com tech, doesn't matter. We always work with references, right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to show you guys that what I would pick from these, okay? Now, these are pretty huge here. I may have to make my screen much bigger. Let me just change the real estate here. My canvas, I'm just going to push it further, okay? So <laughs> these are huge uh, already. 4,000 pixels by, let's say, 3,500 pixels. Who knows? Not 1,000. Woo! All right, I have more room here. Okay, cool. And what I'll do here, I'm just going to lock these up so I don't draw on these layers. Okay, so it's the same process in Photoshop or not. Um, sketchbook, you can do this on paper. You can have, a, you can look at a screen. You can think of movies, actually. I, I want, I'm thinking of doing another lesson with robots from movies, which would be kind of fun, too. Okay, so we're, we're approaching the last four weeks. And I want to hit, I want you guys to play around for two weeks on developing your robot idea. And the last two weeks, we'll work on putting it all together, including a logo and a slogan and so forth. And we'll wrap this whole project up, okay? All right, so let's start. Let's have fun here, okay? And I think, <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping you can see the humor in this one, okay? I know what show that represents, and I'm hoping you guys can say to me, yeah, I know that show. I was brought up with it. And somebody took that as a point of influence, see? Nothing is stopping you guys. That is awesome. Okay, so that's cool. All right, I'm going to go with this Netflix show, Love and Death of Robots. And there's a, a bunch of robots in that show. And I believe a lot of those shots were made in Toronto. Okay, so I'm looking at this and what do I like? Uh, I like every part of it, but what can I borrow? First off, I like the fact that, and I'm going to draw an orthographic, okay? No one here has to draw in perspective. In ISO, if you want, sure. So look, I'm going to just simplify what I'm seeing, okay? So I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to say, you know what? This is a cool head. It has a hat. It could be a safety hat, right? So there's a visor here. And really simply, we have like a TV screen indentation, all right? 
And let me bring my eraser. Ooh, too big here. And I'll just go like that. Go back to pencil. Basically, there's a cutout here, indentation, and couple circles. One, two, and then one for the nose. Who knows? Right there, I can borrow, as we say, as a point of influence, the head of my robot. So in a way, this has lenses and kind of sees where it's going. Okay. So that's that's very cool for me. So I borrow that idea. And again, there's something going on here. I could come in here and say, you know what? I kind of like that idea too. Maybe this becomes my um, my antenna, my, my point of connection kind of thing. Okay, so uh, depends what neighborhood you're in and maybe there'd be a lot of uh, buildings and these are beautiful kind of connectors to the network, right? Antenna of sorts. All right, cool. I borrowed that. Thank you very much, the show. Love and death of robots. All right, so let's come down here. Whew, another one. Great arms, great um, appendixes, appendix, uh, whatever. I don't know. Right now, this is what really drew me, okay? Uh, and I'll show you. I love this idea of uh, a system where I'm going to just block it out for you guys, and I'm going to show you these bolts here. So, and, and then, like, here, one two, three. So that could be kind of a frame to my body, right? So that, that's a style I can take. And what really drew me earlier when I was referencing, and I punched in stylized robots, not cartoon robots. Cartoon robots, they're okay, but they're, you know, it's not as refined as these ones. These are artists uh, who posted their work, and it's amazing. What I like with this is the idea of an engine, See here? And what am I drawing? Something that you already know, all of you. And that is I am drawing a cylinder. And look at this. You just do a line, come in, and connect. That's all that is. So really, this tells me that potentially my robot can fly up, okay? And and move from uh, house to house, street to street, and so forth. So I love this idea for that, okay? So I've taken two awesome things here. Okay, and of course, there's another method right here. Look at this communication. So this one was over here was really this idea. Okay, so that was a circle. Uh, and then we've got a rectangle with a rounded corners, right? Big deal. So look at this one. This is kind of cool too. So I have another idea. I'm going to take a simple cylinder or rectangle here. Look at that. And I may just add a, a cut in here. It's up to me. And then remember our cone that we did with our with our postcard well it's right here and then I have this oval shape so now I have couple options here right from this I went to that so from the side maybe mine looks more like this okay so I don't know it kind of pivots it could have an inside here it could be colored that kind of thing I'm stylizing I'm having a blast and this is what I want you guys to do okay I want you to just come in here and doodle doodle on paper Pencil crayons if you want. Like right now, I can make this a lot of fun if I just color it in and go, yeah, you know what? There's some fumes. There's some, uh, I can bring in the blue colors here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come in here with this brush. And I would normally uh, draw in a layer underneath for coloring just so that, you know what I mean? There you go. So there you go. That's all I did right here, right? Blue. And I'm going to go a little darker, make my brush smaller. And there it is. Whatever. Done. Okay. So these are your options. Okay. Back to my pencil. Okay, I'm borrowing so many cool things here. And I love, uh, well, look at this. Okay, so who's to say this does not look like an eye and, and a mouth here? Okay, so that's pretty awesome, right? Look, so we basically have, this one has a rectangle indentation. This has a protrusion. So really, in front of my, in front of my uh, robot, I could say if I wanted to, look at this, look at this part. Oh my God, that's so cool. So this, this robot can even blink. So if you want to take this and duplicate it with two, that would be pretty cool. So look at this. I'm going to I'm going to make a block out here. So as in look, I'm just taking a circle. I'm adding cuts to it to give it more definition, right? That could be two eyes for me, right? As you can see down here, very cool. And then what I love about this is the arm as well. Like look here, guys. So look, I'm going to draw this arm and again, I'm going to keep it in orthographic, one view, no perspective. And I'm just going to just 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 draw lines. Look, and I'm going to taper it. Look out this way, come down, and I can I can box this. Remember, keep everything simple, 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 and then add detail. All right, that's the way we work. <clears throat> if you guys show me stuff like that 
for next week, I'm going to be flying to the moon, okay? I'd be so happy. So this is what I want. I want you guys to experiment. Say, Mr. Ballion, yeah, I think you, you taught me how to draw lines. I'm going to use those lines. And then here, look at this. More lines. Boom. Okay? So if you want to make this interesting and then have take these ideas of maybe this part rotates, right? So look at this. All I've done is I'm taking rectangles and I'm making ideas by repeating shapes. Shapes become forms eventually, right? So look at this. And then this guy over here has this kind of clamp. Boom. And here there's a circle here. Man, um, I would love to see somebody model this in uh, Fusion 360, which is free. That would be what I'll ask you guys when we get back to school and like maybe next year and so forth for my students because that's a free software for modeling mechanical stuff. And look, this one has a third clamp. So basically, I'm just going to draw lines again, circles, and then triangles. See, that's all I did. I just, I want you to have the confidence to say, there's a process that Balian is asking, and he's asking us to simplify things, come in here, and look, if I want the elbow, I can have this joint in here, see? See, that's it. So you can say to him, Balian, these are the parts I want to incorporate. Let's move on. I got to set up for my other class starting uh, with my grade 12 suit. So here, check this out. This is awesome, okay? So this is this is a classic, I know. And, and then you can say, you know what? This robot comes out of my van, my electric vehicle in a box grabs the box walks over to the house and drops it in the front okay that how, how much more can you say so you're looking at this arm basically here it is look at this rectangle circle the half a circle come out on an angle that's all that part is okay so look i'm gonna just take do i have room oh yeah i've got room and then look another joint see the joint is in here like that it's a ball another ball here or a circle whatever you want to call it let me change my color lighten it up here so we can do two parts here see see here one two so this is the and then the the ball is inside it so you've got another one here and then all you're doing here is actually drawing lines and then you're just tapering and you know one of the first things I taught you guys is to draw this the minute you round this off you're giving it dimension right see there it is. That's all you did right there. Look, that's a tapered rectangle, basically. I just did this, that. That's it. And you can come in here and say, oh, yeah, Mr. Bellion, I love this. I'm going to put some, some of these in here. And this is going to be the forearm of my robot. Okay? So here we go. I'm having a blast. I hope you too. So please, please take the time. Explore. Experiment. Try things out. There is no right or wrong here, okay? You're, everybody's making a, some kind of a robot, okay? So <laughs> even SpongeBob, uh, SpongeBob influences good work, right? Look, every one of these, okay, has something that we can learn from, right? I'm keeping this nice and simple for you guys. Look at that. Same ideas, guys. Antenna, connecting. Antenna over here. Awesome. Uh, this could shoot out something in a game, sure. Um, and then what's really, there was... Okay, there was one where there was a fish inside a tank. Okay, it was a robot on legs. That was awesome. So just go and have a blast. Look how cool this cutout is, okay? So if I look at that right here, this this drawing right here, or this, this beautiful drawing, I should say, and I'm going to incorporate it into what I did here, right? I borrowed this idea, right? So look, why don't I just take this here? Hang on a second. Give me one second. I want to I wanna stop in a few minutes. I got to go to my other class. So Command C, let's go. Let's come over here, and, and I really love these indentations, right? So I'm just going to go Command-V, and I can't see it anywhere. So let me just go, uh, which software am I in? Here. Oh, no. Oh, here it is. I think it's here, right? Let's Command-D for a second, and I'm going to just bring it over, right? Ooh, I did this whole thing on one layer? Okay, okay, I'm just going to borrow it right now. All right, here we go. Let's just come in here and just do this. Command C, Command V, and that should work. And I'll bring it over here. I'll make it a little smaller and whatever. On an angle, even better. And I'll just zoom in here, and I'm going to shut her down soon. Okay, so check this out. So I started with that earlier, right? I borrowed that idea. So let's go in here. Okay, so let's see here. So this was actually uh, a perfectly aligned uh, head, it looked like, over there, right? This one, uh, what I did is I just tapered it in 
right? And I, I did this cutout. So I'm just going over my work here like that. There it is. <clears throat> and I had that little uh, part that gives me the visor. But now what I'm thinking here is I'm going to borrow this idea here, here. Look at this. Go out, go in, maybe come down. So give it more dimension. Who knows? I can come in here and two-tone this, right? I can come in here and say, yeah, right here. This is the way I want to do this. I'm going to continue with this idea. I don't know if you can see this, guys, but I just borrowed that idea of the two color, okay? So I'll just go underneath right now, and I'll just, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to use this brush here. So I'll show you here, right? I'm just going to, right here. So this is what I mean by two-tone, right? So you come in here, you do this part, and you say, look, I have a cutout. I have something in here. Then I'll go a little darker for this part, for the face uh, that's indented. And then in here, um, if I left this at 100%, I wouldn't get those shadows. And then I'm going to pick another brighter color where it's over here. Okay, so see? So this, and then I'm going to round it off. Okay, so I could do this all in grayscale, which I think is the way to start. But I'm just having fun, as you can see. So <clears throat> I'm going to take the same idea from here. I'm going to bring my eyes in. Look, one, two. And then I'll have the other one, right? So as you can see how cool this is, right? So then you do, you just go over your line work, okay? Go over your line work like this. What? Oh, wrong layer. Thank you. I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to go like this, and I'm going to round this off. Do whatever you want. See how, how you can just make so many versions of this? And each time as you're drawing, this is so important, each time as you're drawing, you're coming up with ideas, okay? By, the, by virtue of just simply coming in here and saying, you know what, I'm just doodling, doodling what's coming up in my head. Oh yeah, this is another shape. Look at that. I've got that. I've got this one. Maybe I'll make this into a, a rectangle. Who knows? And I'm going to make a, a joint here, something like that. This one goes up and connects, whatever, right? And some of you may say, you know what, I'm going to add, I don't want this style of uh, antenna connection. I may just do this. Look, I'll have a ball. Boom, boom. There's my uh, cone. We're done. We've got this, okay? So this is what I'm saying, guys. The next two weeks for my grade nines is just explore, draw, make various versions, and have fun with it, okay? I can have this have arms. I can have legs. And pick the body parts from all these images and have a blast. That's learning in this distant learning period. Okay, guys, I cannot ask for more. Thank you. I'll see you guys on Monday at 2 o'clock live. I hope you get a chance to watch this beforehand. Okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Ballion out.